right, do it is July 31st, last day. Have to just snap shit just because fucking it's in the way. I'm in their fucking spot, not the other way. Right? <laughs> they sleep here. So yeah, the pond's as full as it's ever been. I accidentally left the fucking water on yesterday. I mean. I was sitting there enjoying the pond. It was after I came back from the gorge. It sounds weird to call it the gorge, but that's what it is, man. Fucking crawl, fucking hike down in there and you'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, I came back and the fucking, I was like, well, I better top it off because it's going to be hot as fuck. And it is hot. Yesterday there was cloud cover, but not today. And so... Uh, I fucking just forgot all the fuck between here and the house. I forgot. I guess that's where my memories are right now. At this point, now that I'm forty fucking three, even though I feel old, I know I'm not. So I wish I could just hold on to this time right now with a death grip. But best way for me to at least take advantage of being where I am now is to go use it by fucking swimming and shit. I never thought in a million years of shit that I did as a kid would end up being an activity. Halfway? Or at least three quarters of the way through my life. I don't like love swimming or anything, but it's not the swimming right now that's uh, got me, I guess. It's the fucking just wonder what the fuck is underneath the water. I want to know. Like, I can't see, so I'm going to do my best to try to see. It's fucking weird, man. Even though my vision doesn't work anymore, I fucking... I use the part of it that's usable... And just try to, I don't know, hope it will just fucking work. Like the part of it that's not working anymore will just magically work. I don't know. But anything I can do to help the situation obviously helps. Light, goggles, shit like that. So I got goggles coming. And supposedly underwater light. So I'm going to try to find out what the fuck's down there. But anyway, it's the uh, water. You know, we can't breathe it. <laughs> so i got to take like, a fat breath before I go down. And it's like hard to do that. So. It's not because I'm a pothead. I think it's the elevation. But I was able to take a breath and dive down enough to get my feet, everything of me under the water, and then I had to resurface because I felt it was like, kind of, I don't know, I couldn't see, so my main goal at that point was to put my hand out in front of me to try to fill the bottom, but I didn't, so I think that the bottom might be six or seven feet deep, which is good, because I also want to find... waterfall so you don't have to walk all the way around even though I haven't done that yet but I want to but if I can find a way to like climb up the waterfall and then jump in from there that would be way easier so I think that might be my goal for the next trip on Sunday it's supposed to be hot as fuck like today on Sunday but I'm going in the morning morning Because I only live 10 miles away. And 10 miles is a distance. 
Now, if, you, if you're on a fucking electric bike, that's capable of a set amount of miles per hour. I got there in 33 minutes yesterday. I can't even believe it. I wasn't trying to go fast, but I wasn't trying to go slow. It's a fucking washboard that slows you down. Because the mount for the battery, it's like, it can only take so much fucking jostling. <laughs> like, I, I jumped that bike, but I wouldn't do that, like, more. Because, you know, plastic. That's <laughs> what everything's fucking made out of these days. No, the threaded part that threads to the uh, bike is obviously metal. It's, I guess... Like plastic impregnated or steel, no, plastic was impregnated by steel, some shit like that. The steel's inside the plastic. Thing. So when I hit the washboard, it really starts to get fucking jostly. I fucking have to stop almost completely. That costs time. But also, you can't go too fast, because it makes it more plausible for fucking eating shit, like when you hit, like, sandy spots, because those tires aren't nearly as fat as I'd like them to be. I'm going to build a fat tire. I also need a solar panel or three. Yeah, and I ain't fucking rich, man. So... I'll just make do with the one I built. And I bet the, the one I built first would be faster than the fat tire. I don't know why. I just feel like a fat tire can't go if I was quick. I don't know. I should, I'm probably talking out of my hands. I think it could with a big enough motor. Maybe go 1500 watt instead of 1000. Or two. Probably go two thousand. Double the size of the fucking power output. Because you're doubling the width of the fucking wheel. That doesn't necessarily mean it's heavier, but it is a little bit. Yeah. But I'm so far away from that. Fuck, I don't even have a frame. I had the perfect one in sight. I didn't fucking, I couldn't grab it. I tried to fucking get a trade for a guitar, but the motherfucker just didn't reply. Fuck. It was perfect. It was fucking purple. Like candy purple, too. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And it sucks. So that shit kind of comes along if you don't have the fucking money. It's like, fuck, I got guitars. I can trade you guitar. But if I'm not down for that, then I'm pretty much fucked. It's alright though. I'm fucking exploring the fucking cove. I guess you could probably call it a cove more than a gorge. Because it is a cove. Like when you get in the water, really dope ass little cove, little spot to chill out, get high. It's pretty dope. It sucks because I know that when I'm swimming around in there, I'm getting the most it's ever going to be. You know, it's just getting less. Everything is going to get less with the heat increase. Increase. So... Yeah, I'm just basically I'm just taking advantage of the water depth as it is now. Because if it's deep enough in that part, I'm jumping the fuck in and I'm going cannonball. Cannonball! Whoosh, whoosh. 
with this fucking light ass cannonball. <laughs> And then the fucking part where you can't really go any further if you're like a normal person. If you got your dog or, or you're just a normal person. Fucking, you can't go any further because the only way to go down from there is where the water flows. And that drops down probably like four or five feet. I don't know. See, that's the problem. I have a fucking vision problem. I can't see. I don't know. Like, depth perception is pretty whack. So, I don't I don't know. It, if I had to guess, I would say four or five feet. About as tall as I am. It goes down. And there's like where the water is at the bottom. But it doesn't look deep. Again, I can't see that well. But I don't feel that it's more than like two feet. And even that, it seems like it's poured more than... It's probably like a foot and a half. Knee high, thigh high, shit like that. And then it goes into a pool from there, but around a big-ass rock. So it's like a hallway. It's kind of creepy. But uh, that would be one way down. The other way, on the other side, is more like a 25-foot drop. But it's kind of sloped kind of slope, and my concern isn't getting down from there, it's getting back up, and actually that's the same concern for the other side, I think, I think I could probably get a, a stick, a log, some shit like that, and it could go across, because right there where the creek goes through, it, it gets funneled, and there's enough room to just like, a three foot stick, three and a half foot, and then a fucking, uh, a tether or some shit, and there you go, that's your way back up, and your way down, but I think a fucking rope ladder would be better, and again, if you ain't got the funds, what the fuck are you gonna do, I got shit around here that I can use, but I don't have a whole shitload of faith in, not that it's going to break or anything, but that it's just a tether. Like, that's it. Like, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Like, maybe I should tie knots into it. At least towards the top, so that way when I'm really having trouble getting the fuck up over the back up over the fucking waterfall. Yeah, a little extra help. But yeah, that sounds like something I want to get done too, but I don't know if I'll do that this year. This year I just aim to fuck around in that pool. I want to find out what's at the bottom, I want to find out, and thereby find out how deep it is, and I would like to jump in, jump in, along with pickup traffic. People just leave their shit. Yesterday when I went, like, there was a group of people down there. So I just went past them. But I could hear them talking and shit. One of them was like, back in Missouri. I think it was Missouri. Either Missouri or Mississippi. <laughs> I don't remember. But, yeah. Those type of people don't take their shit out. They just leave it there. I'll pick it up. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna start Mountain High fucking thrift store. <laughs> it's all just crap people left fucking behind old sunglasses, sandals, Adidas, fuck it, you know? Nike sweater, fucking the hoodie I'm currently using. Weed, I smoked. That was pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. Uh, Yesterday, when I went, I was leaving, and there was, like, people. It was weird. When I got there, there was, like, a tent. And I don't understand what it was like. Are you spending the night, or are you fucking just chilling right now? I don't know. For the day? I don't know. It was weird. But it was way, way at the beginning, like, on the trail, just off the trail. And it was just, I walked past it, and I could hear people, but they were, like, the other direction on the trail. 
And so I fucking just kept going back towards the, the cove. You know, the main reason for the whole place. And then on the way out, there was people ahead of me leaving. But I don't, I don't know if there were, I don't know if it was them that stopped to take a picture of the fucking sunset that was happening. Or if those were the people that were, like, there with the tent. I don't even remember if there was, if the tent was there. Because the sunset was so, like, wow, I mean, he was looking at that. But I passed two people, and I was like, oh. And the dude just looked like he didn't know what he was looking at. Like, he was looking at a bear that was talking or some shit. <laughs> I forget that I got all this shit on my fucking head and face and everything. But, um, I'm that guy. And there wasn't a whole lot of trash loose on the areas where I went. It's weird, though, to see the whole place with less water like that. It's because it hasn't rained for shit this fucking summer. It rained, like, twice. It used, usually it'll rain for like two weeks straight almost, but it hasn't, so, you can see like the lines on the wall where the water was versus where it is now, it's like a good nine inches, almost a foot, I mean that means it flowed at like almost a foot more than that for some time, and now, but you can see the progressive lines, so that's how you can tell it's just been over time. Yeah. But not that much time. Yeah. Keep mental note of it. July 30th, I went on my birthday. So, yeah, after she went to sleep, I just left. Got there quick too, 33 minutes. Okay. But it was cloudy most of the way and that made it fucking perfect. It didn't feel as hot as it does today though. So it would feel good to go in the water. funny, it's like there's people down there, fucking gathered in the water, around the water, talking and shit, it's like, is it weird to just like, walk down, put your backpack down, take your pants off, cause you're wearing fucking swim trunks, put fucking purple shoes on, and just go and get in the water, like, is that weird, it's like, I don't know, sort of like, walking up to a party at like a Chuck E. Cheese, a birthday party and just sitting down and just laughing with everybody and like, hey and it's like motherfucker who are you <laughs> I don't know no that's why I like going early no one's there in the morning so. yeah, it's too cold the fuck it is I already did it like when it was cold enough to see your breath in the morning and yeah no it was cold I was shivering when I got out but I was still able to do it that's when I was able to dive down. I'm decreasing the amount of time I spend just fucking standing in it. It's like the, every second you're just standing there. It's just eating away at your warmth. Fucking, I don't have much for it. <laughs> but... So, I tend to stand around, like, fuck, I don't want to get, like, wet. Like, I don't want to dunk my head, basically. And that's the same shit it was like at the beach. So, you just have to do it. So. But, I'd like to do it by jumping in, not fucking forcing yourself to do it. Like, when you jump, you're, it's over. You can't fucking, there's no going back. <laughs> I'm straight out here talking to myself. So. No, I'm talking to people that are gonna watch this shit later. It's 
kind of what helps me do the things I do, shit. If I didn't have y'all on the, on the fucking bike witnessing everything I see, then it wouldn't really be fucking what it is. Not that I wouldn't go if I couldn't do it, but it, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that shit. I'm from the generation that kind of grew up on this. On the the whole document, everything you fucking do. I mean, it's appealing to me just because nobody fucking knows I even exist. The fucking world's going to be the same after I'm gone as it was before I got here. They're gonna be doing the same shit, but maybe not here because there won't be a fucking feeder. I wish I could plant some type of plant that would feed them like that. They're all these fucking sunflowers. They're like little sunflowers, though. They're like, them is like Colorado sunflowers. But they look. I think that's probably why they call them sunflowers, because they face the sun. Like in the morning time, sort of, they probably turn all the way the fuck around to get the sun from the fucking east. Yeah, we got us a magpie. Fucking go back, go back in, but I think yeah, I'm gonna have to. All right, well, it's not a bad way to end the video. I think it was a magpie, but I'll see. Yeah, hopefully you're having a good day on this last day of July. Until next time, late, late, late on.